So, as we discussed, obviously the main issue was obviously this hip movement here going back, okay, in terms of how your hips were rotating or not rotating as the case may be, you would very much slide the hips in this direction off to the left. So as you went back here now, a lot of weight would move over to this left side. You wouldn't be able to rotate as easily. Left foot comes off the ground, okay? And now because of this, as you come back in the golf ball, your balance was a little bit affected. You can see in this one here now, striking that secondary ball on the toe of the club. Your hands are way behind the golf ball. Yeah. So if you did make a good contact, it would go quite high, okay? But generally speaking, the low point of your swing arc is going to be when the club and your hands... Yeah come above each other, yeah? so hands in the club in the vertical height, okay? So that's where your low point's gonna be. What we've got to try and do eventually is get your hands to work more towards this left side, which is gonna come from moving the hips better on the way back, getting more of a rotation. So you're not moving too far over to this side on the right, okay? And therefore it makes it a lot easier for you to move back to the right side. Now, if we look at this movement here now, I wouldn't say the movement was brilliant, but it wasn't bad, okay? in terms of the hip movement, okay? The club's gone a little bit further. This foot's still lifting, which is kind of instinctive, okay? But if the hip slides, this foot has to go up in the ground, yeah? There's no way your leg can actually extend that long. So if the hips rotate better, you'll find this won't need to move as much. So don't think about what the foot does. Yeah. Focus on the hip, other body parts will just start following, yeah? yeah. Don't try and think I, I that every- I don't know why the best way is do that. Some do it, but not that much. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah. All right? But the key thing on this one now, because we're able to, we did rotate better, as we come back into the golf ball now, we can see your hands now are more, I guess, on top of the golf ball. Long term, we get to a situation where your hands are going to be a little bit further forward, and that heel, I don't think, is on the ground, is it? Uh, well, probably about there it comes on the ground. So not too bad. So that's your impact there. The heel's off the ground, which means there's not enough weight or any weight really onto your left foot. So the shadow underneath there. Yeah, yeah. Now, your, like now your foot hits the ground. Now, there yeah. probably is pressure. Look where the swing is. Yeah. <laughs> you basically finished the swing there enough, haven't you? So it looks a long one. That's like half a second, if less than that. But we've got to get that body moving better, okay? So the practice is going to be some of the home drills you can do. And this all kind of ties in with the stuff we talked about on the golf course last session with the towel behind the golf ball and getting that low point different, okay? Put a table or chair or something against your right hip. Just make some swings there where you feel like you're making some sort of separation with that right hip, okay? Moving away from it. The other one we suggested, put the club there inside your right heel. Put another club there across your shoulders and just make sure we try and rotate. So I'm gonna be standing here now, rotating and moving. So this hip works better, gets my shoulder. If I slide my hips, it's very hard to rotate. And if you can't rotate, if you try to, it's going to hurt. Yeah. yeah. What, what, what does that club do? So this club here now, the red, the red line there is going to match up with the like a green line, the green line across your shoulders. So if you rotate your shoulders there to sort of ninety degrees, that's yeah. now going to match up on the ground. Oh, doing there. Yeah. yeah. So you get that sure. sort of sensation of just sort of trying to match the shoulder turn yeah. with that right. club on the inside okay. of your right foot. Okay. So all about really the the sole purpose of getting your low point to be. This side of the golf ball. Yeah. When your hands are back here hitting the golf ball, you can't. It's, just, it's impossible to get the club after the golf ball. You're always going to be striking the ball ground first, fatting it or thinning it. And then if you try to reach for the golf ball, then we get the shanky ones or the heely ones. You see this golf ball here sort of shooting off off to the right there because you've caught it on the end of the golf club because your club has moved forward. That was the secondary ball you hit, see, yeah? So oh, yeah. you're at the inside one, Healy, and then the toe of the golf club you're striking the other ball with caught the outside ball, which is why you can see when it goes through here now. Come on. Yeah. It shoots off to the side, yeah? But, but I, I didn't realise before. I think you can see that. I'm on my toes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. In... yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, and if you're on your tippy toes, it's very hard to rotate at all. So you want to get, you're rotating from the starting off in the middle part. You're not sort of sitting on your heels to set up your arch of your feet. You turn into the heels. And then we can move into that left heel. If you're kind of up here and this way, then it's like, Ugh. and that's when you balance. Sometimes you've had a few shots where your weight falls forward up onto your toes there, okay? So generally speaking, there's a good movement there in the swing. We get some good strikes. We've got to move that hip better, get that low point better, practice those drills, get the sensation of what that right side is going to do. I say a good one is just making some swings in front of a mirror or a reflection. Have something above your head on the camera. So you can see where you are and see how much hip movement you have got in the back. So that's got to be moving better. Okie dokie. Does that make sense? Yeah, good. Right. Okay.